Welcome to another edition of Now You Know Sports. I'm DJ Murphy here with our very own Matt Porter, who's bringing the technology to BC Sports right now, Matt. Well, you know, DJ, I think it was time to finally take the sports segment out of the Stone Age and into the digital age, if you know what I mean. I like it. Who can complain with that? And so we have some great topics for you today. First off is men's ACC basketball. Matt, what do you have for us in terms of the Eagles? Well, DJ, I think it comes down to Rakim Sanders um, and his performance this year as a sophomore at BC. Um, can he score from the inside and out? Can he be that good rebounder? Um, Sanders was the cornerstone of the recruiting class, a New England favorite. And if he can play with Rice and everyone else on the team, we should be in for a pretty good season. All right, I agree with you, Matt. I think it's going to be very tough this year because the ACC is a tough conference. You have teams like North Carolina and Duke, the standard powers in basketball. You also have teams like Virginia Tech and Florida State could be surprises this year. And unfortunately, we still have a lot of youth. We have, uh, you know, we have Tyrese Rice obviously playing a point guard, shooting guard role, but then we have several sophomores and some freshmen playing key roles. So there will be growing pains going through the season. We have a very easy non-conference schedule, so we could play, have a very good record going to ACC play. But in the ACC, it's going to be tough in terms of rebounding, especially. We lost Oates, we lost Blair, and so Josh Southern is going to have to play a big role this year in, uh, in for uh, BC Eagles basketball. For sure. Southern, Rice, Jacket, Sander, uh, Jackson, Sanders, they'll all have to pick up their game. Definitely, definitely. Well, moving on to topic number two now. I feel like this is a topic every week on this show is NFL surprises. It's been such a crazy season so far. Well, Matt, um, you know, what do we got for us? Right? Got any surprises for us? Well, you know, DJ, I mean, i got to go back to the Patriots. It's been such a disastrous season in so many ways. They lost Tom Brady, Lawrence Maroney, and now... Now even Rodney Harrison is out. Yeah. Who would have thought that they would even be able to play against the Rams and do as well as they did? Castle threw really well. Um, he's been a surprise on certain games, certainly not against that Chargers game where they yeah. literally got trounced. But I do think the Patriots are really have been a surprise with the injuries that they've had. Yeah. So it was surprising to see all the injuries, and now it's sort of surprising to see that they're really continuing to hold their own against some pretty tough teams. I agree, I agree. And you know, also some surprises for me are just some quarterbacks we weren't expecting to be that good. You got Jake Del Home for the Panthers, you have Kyle Orton for the Bears, two fantasy studs right now, leading their teams to victories in the NFC. And then moving over to the AFC, you have teams like the Chargers and the Jaguars, two teams I personally thought would be very good this year, with a lot of returning stars, a lot of talent are struggling mightily in their divisions, both not leading the top of their division. Jaguars and Chargers both suffered some tough losses, and you can't even really blame injuries for them. So a little surprising so far in the NFL right well, now. How heavy can Pittsburgh be with everything that's going Yeah, exactly. Right now, Pittsburgh's you know? looking pretty good right now, although they did suffer a tough loss exactly. to the Giants. Yeah. But yeah. All right, now we got some other uh, football news here. We got this week is the BC Notre Dame football game. And everyone knows how big and how important this game is. Holy War. The Holy War. How key it is. We won last year, Matt Ryan, but this year it's a new team, new concept. Jimmy Claus in his second year under Notre Dame and Charlie Weiss, and he has improved mightily this year. He's thrown the deep ball very well, which is the one thing that'll be the key for the Eagles. I think the Eagles defense needs to stop them from getting big plays. That's hurt them in the past this year, and there can be no big plays against Notre Dame this year. And Clawson loves throwing those deep balls to his wideouts. So that's going to be key this game, I think. And you know, they call it the Holy War. They call it the Vatican Bowl. They've even called it the Frank Leahy Memorial Bowl and the Jesuit Invitational. But however you want to call this game, it's going to be big. It's going to be oh, huge. Yeah, um, and Notre Dame does hold the record so far. They're leading us in this in this Holy War series 10 to 8. So BC is really going to come back, get another win, bring it even closer. And hopefully, we even this up. we've only got three up. or four more games, and Notre Dame may stop deciding to play us, you know, Because we're, we're doing so rooms. well right now, exactly. exactly. So Chris Crane, he'll go hold out his own, play some Crane game, now that he's the only Crane in town, by the way. There you go. Um, that's been great to see. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that the Holy War is going to be huge. Um, I like to call it the Vatican Bull, I think that's a great name I like for that. as well. I like it too. It's um, a good one. So that's all about it. Um, everyone get ready for the game on this Saturday. Until next time, this is Now You Know Sports. This is Matt Porter and DJ Murphy. Have a See good night. Ya.